Previously on Conquering Clough. We need to cluffinize this series. I need to become more cluffy, tougher, harder. Maybe, maybe I need to be braver. Maybe I need to be braver. That's it. You know what? That's that's it. That is now. I'm, I'm here on video making this promise. We're going for it. We're just going to go for it. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. The things that are hard work to other managers are not hard work to me. Yes, Kaisho FMers, and welcome back to Conquering Clough. Or should that be channeling Clough? Because that's what we've been doing. So today we have the home game to Hull. Hull, who were sixth last time you were here, they've now dropped to twelfth, as you can see on the table. We are in sixth, and that is no small miracle. So last time we met, we suffered a 2-1 home defeat to high-flying Sheffield United. We talked about needing to recover. We talked about needing to change our ways. We did then manage a very shaky 3-2 home victory over Preston. Played a couple of friendlies with a new formation, which we'll talk about in a moment. A 5-2 win over SP Raids and a 0-0 at home to FC Michelin. It was a good performance though. And then you'll see what happened. A narrow 3-2 away defeat to Reading. A 4-0 spanking of Luton who were well above us at the time. A 2-0 away win. That's right, 2-0 away win over West Bromwich Albion. Then a 6-1 shellacking of Petersburg. Admittedly, Peterborough were down low, but a 6-1 shellacking of Peterborough. And then... A tight as you can go, 1-0 away win over Swansea. And prior to that, our, we were down in like 8th, ninth, And those wins combined with probably a bit of unsteady form from the teams around us, put us back into the promotion playoff spots, which is good. A win here, of course, will keep us in this. We'd love to go further up the table, but if we return back to that table, you'll see we're six points ahead of Blackburn, but only one point behind Luton themselves. Now, Luton, as great as a run they've been having, do you, can you see them sort of hanging on to fifth place? I don't know. It's I, I don't really see that happening. If we can beat them the way uh, you know we did, other teams can as well. Now... Can we catch Fulham, Bournemouth, Sheffield United or West Brom? Uh, I mean, there's only four points between us and West Brom and, and we beat them. We beat them away and we do have a home game later on in the season. United, mm, I'm not so sure. So realistically, given there's a 10 point difference between us and Bournemouth and Fulham, I think it's going to be plus. If we're going to get anywhere this season in terms of promotion, it Looks like it's going to be through the playoffs. So the other thing, youth intake preview. Gary Brazil has come to us. He's told us we have a goalkeeper. that look, looks like a great prospect. And then at least two top prospects in the center of midfield. And maybe some handy wingers. Be very interested in seeing those center midfielders. Goalkeepers, I don't know. We'll see. But that's not a bad intake for our first one. Obviously, we only need to grow to develop that, that youth recruitment and that youth coaching over the next few seasons. We'll see. If there's some really, really solid central midfielders in there, maybe we can slot them in. Won't be long before we find out. Anyway, we are here for a game. So let's have that game and the tactical preview that comes with it. We're going to take the opposition tactics. Now look at that. They're suggesting go from positive to attacking. Do we want to do that? Sure. Let's do that. Oh yes, here it is. The crazy 4-4-2. This is what's been working for us at home. We've not been playing this away. We've been playing a different formation away. We'll do with that later on. But this is what we're doing at home. Now one of the first things that stands out is Patterson at right back. Yes, Patterson at right back. Why is that? There is Nathan Patterson's 7.22 average rating. So Neko, he's not bad, he's just below seven, but Patterson just stepped up these last few games, so he starts. Joe Worrell and Figueredo, natural relationship. So they're paired in midfield at the moment. Scott McKinnon wanted some rest, he was a bit tired, so we rested him. We might just keep resting him, to be honest. Thompson on the left, we did bring in another left back. Again, we'll do with that after the game. But Thompson will start today. In the center of midfield, Bernardo is a deep lying playmaker with Yates as a ball winning midfielder. Now, because of the nature of this formation, we need to make sure our midfield stays low, as low as possible. We don't want people tearing forward. So Yates has been doing the business. 
not big turning in the greatest performance, but he's doing the business. We can bring others on like Xavi Simons and he can play that deep lying defensive role and Bernardo can get forward or vice versa. But that's where we're going to start. Martin on the left wing, Brennan Johnson still having some tiredness issues. So Martin starts today. Conceição, Conceição continues to be wonderful on the right. And then Graben and Gellhardt up front. Now we're playing Gellhardt as a pressing forward, which does mean Lewis Graben's been getting the goals. And I know Joe Gellert's not going to like it or someone's not going to like it. You know, I kind of frankly don't care at this stage. I mean, he's a $30 million purchase. I don't think that's going to happen in reality. So you know what? He can play in that role. And that's it. That's the formation. But we'll talk more about formations after this game. All right. In the dressing room, we need to show everyone that the recent praise is justified. Yeah. So morale's gone up after all those horrible losses. And, you know, everyone's liking it again. That's good. Fickle bunch, aren't they, footballers? Here we go. First highlight of the game. It's ours. Thompson to Gelhart. Bernardo's on the ball. He goes long. Ken Lewis. Lewis traps it. And he scores. He puts it. What a lovely finish. He puts it. Slides it just past the hull keeper for our first goal before 20 minutes. And that's what I mean. Lewis grabbing the goals. Joe's coming deep. He's helping. And Lewis is doing those runs. Look at that. Not only has he got some pace on him, but he's a powerful. You know, he's a strong unit. Bullied Greaves off the ball and put it in the net. There we go. Thank you, Paolo. And Paolo putting that goal through. Paolo and, um, and Hannibal have been exchanging roles there. Both been doing all right. And, but, you know, Paolo starts today. Second highlight. What's going on here? Oh, it's theirs. Jones to Smith goes long. Wilkes traps it. He goes back to Coyle. Finds Honeyman to Doherty. That's right. Patterson's on it. What will he do? Releases Conceição. Conceição releases Grabman. Can Grabman find Joe Gellard in the box? Oh, he crosses him. Bernardo. Oh, he heads it over. Nice. We're looking good. Three shots, two on target. Hull are shooting, but we're more accurate. Here we go. Yates. Oh, no. The ball is gone. It's gone out to Wilkes. Wilkes to Coyle. Coyle's coming forward. Finds Matty Smith. Doherty shoots, but Samba's there. Right. All right. Corner. It's going to be an in-swinger from Patterson. It comes in. Honeyman's on it, though. Can we close him down? Dear, oh, dear. It's 2-1-2. Two two. He releases Lewis Potter. Lewis Potter crosses in, but Joe Worrell's on it. Palo Bernardo goes long. Grabman's on it. Can he finish it? Kenny holds the ball up. He finds Conte Sal, who finds the eights. Finds Martin. Over. Over the over the bar. That is it. 35 minutes. We're looking pretty good. You know, they've got the shots, but we've got the goal. Okay, call the Honeyman to Smith. Goes out wide to Wilkes. Honeyman's on it. He's coming forward. He's in the box. He shoots. It's off the bar. Patterson collects, find Conceição, and that is the highlight. Ooh, 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 it's getting tight out there. Will we need to change for the second half? We'll see. Uh oh, corner, in swinger from Honeyman. Can we keep it up? Wilkes is on it. It just whizzes by the far post. Yeah, eight shots, two on target. It's our turn now. It's a long throw from Patterson. Can he get it in? Goes long, backs the figure out. He's on it, shoots. Doesn't get anywhere though, and Honeyman clears. Just the one minute of injury time, and we go in 1-0 up, but it's tight. Seven shots, three on target for us, two, eight shots, two on target. So if there was ever a time, ever a time to not get complacent, it's now. But let's give them the extra. I think you're happy, you're doing well, you're defending well, you're bossing the midfield. Oh, Martin is, Martin is, he's motivated. Why are you demotivated for? Let's get the attackers, uh, keep going. You've got the ability. Oh, what's happening with Martin there? Anyway, we'll go a bit deeper into the tactics. Have a look at that. Yeah, Martin, 6.3 and a 6.5 from Joe Gellhart. 6.5 from Conseil Sau. It's all been about the defense keeping it out, hasn't it? I think we might have to change this formation. And I hate to say it, but I think it's going to be, I think it's going to have to be Gellhart who comes off. Now, the question is, do we go to our other formation? Here it is. No, nothing revolutionary at all. It's just this. That's it. It's this formation. And I kind of think, I kind of think we do. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap Gelhart for Yates. Yates is going to drop down and we're going to bring Xabi on. We're going to bring Xabi on for Gelhart 
in that uh, in in that sort of deep lying playmaker defense role. You'll notice that Mighton and Concesao will go to attacking roles. I'm gonna leave Mighton there. I know he's on a yellow, but I'm gonna leave him there for now. We can bring Zand on. He is on the bench. Let's leave him there for now. And let's readdress opposition tactics. And let's get back out there and let's score another goal. Come on, we've got the ball. What will happen? Moving it around nicely. Figueredo. Finds Simons. Goes long. Finds Mighton. Oh, goodness me. That was close. That was very close. All right. Our throw. Patterson to Figueredo. Back to Patterson. Now, remember, the fullbacks are playing defensively now. So it'll be up to the, uh, to the inverted wingers to do it. Look at that. Grabman is released. Ball comes off the defender for our corner, though. Will we get to have our corner? We will. It's an in-swinger from Patterson. It goes in. Figueredo is on it. Oh, but Baxter collects. All right. Simons and Patterson exchanging passes there. We're looking comfortable. Worrell on the ball. Finds Paolo Bernardo, who releases Contessa. Can Contessa finish? Wow. No, he can't. Unless he wants to finish on the surface of the moon. All right, it's 60 minutes and Alex Mighton has not stepped up. So we're going to bring on Xander. Xander as an attacking inverted winger. What else is happening? I mean, Consacel's not having a great game either. We'll leave him for the moment. Joe Lolly's on the bench, but just, you know, let's keep one in case. You never know. I have faith. Xander's inspired. Great. Oh, we've come back to a highlight. Anything out of this? Yates, Simons, back to Figueredo, to Patterson. Finds Conceição. Patterson's getting forward. Oh, Conceição released Patterson. Patterson crosses to Conceição. Back to Patterson, to Simons. To Patterson. Oh, look at that. It's out. Elders put it out for a corner. Will we see the corner? No, we won't. Okay, Thompson with the throw. Goes long, but there's no one there. Do we get it? Oh, yes. Sanders coming forward on the left. What's he going to do? Finds Bernardo, finds Yates, finds Simons, goes out to the right to Patterson. What will Patterson do to Simons? Yates. Oh, Warrell, we've been careful, aren't we? Paolo, grab and shoot. Sushka. It's a big hit, but it goes over. 70 minutes, what's happening out there? You know, it's kind of all right. I'm not real fussed at change anything quite yet but hang on coil with the throw finds williams goes long samba with the save brilliant save he has been in top form he's absolutely displaced his american colleague honeyman in swinger it's cleared by figurator doherty is chasing it down though will he be able to put it back in we'll find out doherty's racing down oh look at that Sander silver god defensive master he is here we go. And quickly to another highlight, Worrell. Joe finds Bernardo. Thompson finds Xander to Bernardo. Yates to Simons. Goes on to Conceição. Patterson. Patterson releases Conceição. Can he get it? He can't. It's cleaned up. Greaves is on the ball. Honeyman. Smith out wide to Coyle. Back to Jones. What will they do? Can we get this ball? Oh, Figueredo. Look at his positioning. Bernardo. Long ball to Conceição, back to Patterson, finds Simons, crosses in, Xander Silva, Wooshka, into Baxter's breadbasket. All right, so we're heading towards 80 minutes. Might look for that last change. Conceição is tired, so I'm going to bring Joe Lolly on, give him a bit of a pump. Here we go. Love that. Faith. He's always composed. Never flustered. Never flustered, Joe. So we look at that. 13 shots to five versus 11 to three. It's tight. This is no walkover, that's for sure. Highlight, Baxter with the kick, goes long. Figueredo to Lolly, to Patterson, Simons. Oh, oh no, release Smith. Can we stop it? Oh, Figueredo, just a machine. Xander Silva. Bernardo, Simons. Oh no, Coyle gets it, releases Smith. Come on, Samba. Bryce, Bryce just too good. No, he was offside. All right, here's what we're going to do. I think it's time. Everyone's getting a little tired, so we'll drop the press. We're going to drop the press. We're going to pass shorter, slow tempo down. We want the time wasting. We want the set pieces. 
You know what we want. Let's we'll keep it positive though for now. Four minutes of injury time. We have a long throw. Patterson cleared by Halliston. Yates is on it though. Simons finds Patterson. What will he do? Finds Lolly. Crosses corner. Nice. Will we see the corner? We're not even at 90 minutes yet. We've just crossed over. Thompson's going to bring the in-swinger. Goal now would be great. Come on, Figueredo. Put your head on this one. Do it. Goal. He's been putting it away too. Puts it in. Worrell does it. Yes. Joe Worrell. That's the other one who's been putting away. The near post corners aren't what they used to be, but they are helping. Outstanding. Let's have a look at this. In three dimension. Puts it in. Worrell glancing head of far post. Lovely stuff. And with that, we're going to drop back to balance. That's nice. Uh-oh. Will there be an instrument response? Oh, Pinado. Oh, no. Yates goes long, but it only finds Elder Longman to Huddleston. Huddleston's looking. Thompson. Uh-oh. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Spoke too soon. Looks like Thompson's missed something there. Ah. Samba's caught on the near post. What's happening there? Huddleston. He's gone long. Ah, oh, Thompson missed that clearance. Ah, oh, Samba went down too early. They got the goal back in the 93rd minute. Let's see it out though. Will we? Oh dear. <laughs> okay, Longman, Huddleston, Williams, Elder, Huddleston, goes to Smith, goes to Coyle, clean that ball. Come on, Xander. Crosses it in. Samba's there. Huddleston, Honeyman. Oh, Xander. That's it. That is it. Goes long to Graben. Runs it out. That's got to be it. Come on. That's got to be it. They're going to get the throw. Coyle to Jones. Finds Honeyman. Blow the whistle, ref. Longman. And that's it. A 2-1 home victory over Hull. It was tight. It was tight, but we won it. That's what matters. Three points. Let's get in that dressing room. Let's tell the boys. Mm, I'll take that good result not playing as well as we can. They like it. And there it is. Sixth place. Looks like Blackburn have dropped points there. Have they, in fact, been beaten? Let's have a They have. Birmingham has taken them at 2-0. So, wow. Wow. Big jump there. Nine points ahead. Obviously, Luton picked up a win there again. Wow, they're just doing really, really well. I've not had a deep look at Luton, but they've done it. Where are they? You'll see it before I can. Where am I mistaken? Did, oh, no, there they are. 2-1 away win over Reading. Reading not having a, the bad season either, but they did it. So they pick up that win. Looks like West Brom have choked again. They did choke. Nil-nil with Barnsley. Nil-nil with Barnsley. Bournemouth pick up their regulation two win over Borough. And Fulham pick up a one-nil win over Sheffield United. That is very good. I mean, look, we're now five points off Sheffield United. Be nice. Look, if we're going to finish the playoffs, let's finish third. That'd be great. Because that way we can play, who is it? F f you know, sixth and smash them, I hope. Anyway, a good win. Tight. But that's it. You can see what we're doing now. We go, we're being bold. We're attacking. We're going for it. I'm not scared. I'm not scared to concede as long as we outscore them. That's all that matters. I don't recall if I got a chance to show him. Here is Brandon Mason. He's not very good, but he's here. And if uh, Dominic Thompson gets tired, he can step in. He can do a bit. I mean, the concentration is woeful. Everything else is just super average, except he's got some pace. That's never bad. He's got a work rate. That's solid. His crossing isn't terrible. He can tackle. He's got some bravery. That's kind of it, really. That's kind of it. He did play a couple of games. I think he played the friendlies. He was, he was all right. He was okay. I know friendlies don't count for a lot, but that's him. He's here. You know, <laughs> he'll step in when he needs to. Uh, and look, you know, transfer window is around the corner. Who knows? So... Next game, I'm thinking we're going to come back for an away game to Blackburn. Blackburn Curry in seventh, so just behind us. Nonetheless, they're on our tail. It's an away win. We, like I said, we need to get some forward movement. We're coming towards the end of December. We can skip past January if we have any action in the transfer window. I'll show you that. I'm not expecting anything. Maybe a left back. That's probably it. We're covered for anything else. We do have a little bit of money, but really the only thing I'm concerned about is a quality left back at this stage. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, also, this is new, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Santa got me a present. He got me a new webcam. And hope the next video 
can have another change that can be even more special. Hope you like it. I'm sure you will. I think you will. We're making little tweaks here and there where we can. This is a nice one, you know, proper resolution, all that. A bit wide, I know, but don't worry, we're going to sort that out. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done so. It means a lot. So of your recent comments, all that feedback, it's been terrific. I really appreciate all those who've come on board in the last few games. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep cluffing this. We're going to keep channeling the big man. Oh, big Ed. We're going to bring him to... We're going to win. We're going up. We're going up this season. Why muck around? Let's do it. Anyway, thank you again. That's it for today. Until next time, last Arte.